The Life of an American Toad by Shrite Productions. Setting up your tadpole's aquarium. So there are a couple things that you want to consider when you're setting up your tadpole's new home. The first is space. Make sure to give yourself enough space so that the tadpoles aren't overcrowding each other. They need space to grow. The second thing you want to consider is the water that you're using. Never use water directly from the tap as it's chlorinated. This water should sit out for at least a day or two. If you want to collect water from a local downspout when it's raining or from a local pond, that's probably your best bet. What do tadpoles eat? Feeding your tadpoles is really cheap. Head over to your local dollar store and pick up a little bottle of fish flakes. I used goldfish flakes or tropical fish flakes. Make sure not to overfeed them as the excess food will turn into waste and dirty the water sooner. Right around the fourth week you'll see that their legs have become quite developed. They're also developing different markings on their back. Your tadpoles will grow faster if you keep the tank warm. Changing the tank. Tadpoles breathe oxygen in the water with their gills, similar to fish. Right around the fifth week, you'll notice that your tadpole starts to try to get out of the water. That's because his gills are changing into lungs. At this stage, the tadpole is now called a toadlet, or a froglet, if it's a frog. You'll notice that the tail of the toad starts to shrink as it's using this part to grow. Remove your toadlets from the tank. It's very important to remove your toadlets from the tank because at this point they cannot breathe underwater any longer and they can drown. As you can see, I'm using a pickle jar with some damp soil at the bottom to house the toads until they're all toadlets. Once your toadlets lose their tails, they're now toads. Unlike frogs, toads don't need a lot of water. Just a little dish in the corner of your terrarium will do. Toads are excellent pets because they pretty much eat anything. I've been feeding my toads a diet of aphids and other little insects. Now, they see using lateral eye movement, so your bugs have to be moving. They can't be already dead when you put them into the terrarium. Toads are amphibians, just like frogs. Unlike frogs, they are a different color, obviously. They have shorter legs so that they hop opposed to leap, and they have lots of warts on their back, but you can't actually get warts from them. I named this toad Mambo because he's the biggest of my 10 toads. Sit Mambo, sit. <laughs>